بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين ثم الصلاة والسلام على أشرف الأنبياء والمرسلين حبيب إله العالمين بالقاسم المصطفى محمد وآله الطيبين الطاهرين اللهم صل على محمد وآل محمد Dear viewers السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته We're blessed to read through the verses of the Holy Quran and the narrations of Ahlul Bayt عليهم السلام asking Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to bless us to be able to practice and to bring these verses and these narrations, insha'Allah, into our lives. We have reached the verse, Ihdina Sarat al Mustaqim. The last episode, we concluded, what is this right path that is only one, and it is firm, and it is the shortest, and the fastest, and the most secure, one path to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, no other ways, and that is one path. This answer, we, the answer to this question, we'll get it from Quran, the Holy Quran, chapter 36, verse 61. هَذَا صَرَاطٌ مُسْتَقِيمٌ Worship me, th that is a straight path. Worshiping Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. It is the right path that we need to be. So this kind of worship, how should we worship Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala? What, kind, what kind of worship is it? Should we worship the way Christians do? Should we worship the way Jewish, Jewish people do? Should we do it the way Buddhists does it? Should we do it, should we just don't do anything, just be nice to other people? What, how should we worship Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala? It is against Allah's justice to, send, to say, worship me, and He doesn't show us how to worship Him. It's like when you invite someone to your house, you don't give them the address, and you don't tell them how to get to your house. Come to my house, you are welcome. Okay, we want to come. Sorry, I don't have an address. Just come to my house. Okay, how can we find you? Oh Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, you tell us, you have ordered us to worship you. How should we worship you? Because by worshiping you, we are on the right path. How should we worship you? Chapter 6, verse 161. قُلْ إِنَّنِي حَدَانِي رَبِّي إِلَىٰ صِرَاطٍ مُسْتَقِيمٍ دِينًا قَيِّمًا مِلَّةِ إِبْرَاهِيمَ حَنِيفًا وَمَا كَانَ مِنَ الْمُشْرِكِينَ Say, O Rasulullah, Indeed, my Lord has guided me to a straight path. Let us pause. So, if we want to worship Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, we have to see who brought this religion, who brought this Qur'an, Rasulullah. Rasulullah says, I am on the right path, Allah has guided me. So Rasulullah says, Indeed, my Lord has guided me to the straight path. So this straight path, Rasulullah is on the straight path. What is this path? The path, the upright religion, the creed of Ab Abraham, a Hanif, and he was not one of the polytheists. So worshipping him, worshipping him what? That needs religion. Religion is what? Deen and qayyaman millat Ibrahim, an upright religion. Where Allah says, chapter 43, verse 61, Biha saratun mustaqim. Follow me. Holy Prophet saying, follow me. This is a straight path. So first, Allah says, A'buduni, worship me. Okay, we want to worship you. How? Deen. And we need to worship you. What is that kind, what is that act of worship comes to? It becomes into deen. Deen tells us how to practice and how to worship Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. What is this deen? Allah says in the Holy Quran, Rasulullah says, You follow me. So, Sarat al Mustaqim, the right path, is worship of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and being his servant. His being, how can we be his servants? How can we show our loyalty? How can we worship Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala? Comes to deen. And this deen is shara, is Islam, is the religion of Islam. What is this deen? We ask Quran again. Quran answers us. Chapter 3, verse 19. deen and Allah al-Islam. Truly, the religion with Allah is Islam. So you follow the path. You follow our sequence of how we placed and how we brought an answer to our question. What is that right path? The conclusion is that the right path is following Rasulullah Muhammad Because the Holy Quran again, chapter 43, verse 61. 
وَاتَّبِعُونِ هَذَا صِرَاطٌ مُسْتَقِيمٌ Follow me. This is the right path. So Rasulullah, what did he bring us? He brought the religion. What is that religion? What is that deen that explains to us that this is the path, this is the way to worship Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala? Because Allah says, وَنَعْبُدُونِي If worship me, this is the right path. Okay, how can we worship him? Deen. What is this deen? إِنَّ الدِّينَ عِنْدَ اللَّهِ الْإِسْلَامِ Truly the religion with Allah is Islam. The religion of Islam. We come, okay, religion of Islam. How should we get it? I, as considered to be as a non-Muslim, for example, I get to the religion of Islam. If we argue that path to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is as many people within the religion of Islam, according to a narration by Rasulullah Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa alayhi, with both, which both Shia and non-Shia agreed that the Rasulullah said after lengthy hadith that my nation will divide to 73 sects. One of them will attain salvation and the other 72 will be in hellfire. Well, which one is it? In that case, again, this narration, both Shia and non-Shia agree, it's only one path, one sect, one madhab. We cannot say everybody has the truth with them. Shia has, Shia that prays this way is the truth, has the truth. Sunnis, Hanafi pray different than Malikis. Then we have sects within the religion of Islam that they don't pray. Sufis, for example, they consider themselves Muslim, and they're Muslim. Accept Rasulullah, accept Allah, but they don't pray. Well, shouldn't, why should we pray in that case? We should not pray, be like Sufis and don't pray. What is the right thing to do? Rasulullah says, Follow me, this is the straight path. Can we get the straight? So we're following Rasulullah, no doubt. How many times, in numerous occasions, Rasulullah said that Ali ibn Abi Talib salam nafsi, he is me, we are together, we are one. Ali nafsu Rasulullah. Haven't we seen narrations within the Shia and non-Shia belief? So the right path is the Holy Prophet and Ahlul Bayt, Imam Ali, which is the soul of the Holy Prophet, and the fastest and the most convenient, shortest, safest, path to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, they are Ahl al salam none other by Ahl al salam Why? First of all, according to the ver holy verses of Quran, that Allah purified them, both parties, the Shia and non-Shia, they believe, and they say that this verse was about Ahl al salam starting with Amir al-Mu'mini Ali ibn Abi Talib alayhi salam, and Ahl al-Bayt, Fatima al-Zahra salam Allah alayha, Imam Hassan al Shaba alayhi salam, and Imam Hussein alayhi salam. And the rest of Ahl al-Bayt, Shia claims, they are Ahl al-Bayt. And we see within, they all refer us back to Rasulullah. But we see all the other faith, all the other madahib. They were all born at least 100 to 200 years after the Holy Prophet. How authentic is their narration? How authentic is their teaching? We get our teachings, our practice, our deen, which is moralities, I believe, aqaid, and jurisprudence, ahkam and akhlaq from Ahl al-Bayt who have been purified and who were before all the other Imams of all the other madahib, madahib al-arba'ah, Shafi'i, Hanafi, Maliki, Hanbali. We get them from Ahl al-Bayt where they are as sabiqun as sabiqun. They are, they were the first to be with Rasulullah, they are from Rasulullah. How many times the Shia and non-Shia have mentioned Hussein and Minni wa Alam and Hussein? We get our narrations, our teachings from the life of Prophet through the tongue of Ahl al-Bayt Through the teachings of Rasulullah Ahl al-Bayt starting with the commander of the faithful, Ali ibn Abi Talib throughout all the other Imams. We see, and they were also, so first they've been purified by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And Allah says, إِنَّمَا يُرِيدُ اللَّهِ لِيُتَبَعَنْكُمُ الرِّجْسَ أَهْلِ بَيْتِ وَيَطَهَرَكُمْ تَطْهِيرًا That's the first. Second, they were the beginnings. السَّابِقُونَ السَّابِقُونَ And also, they were فَضَّلَ اللَّهَ الْمُجَاهِدِينَ عَلَى الْقَاعِدِينَ Allah, look at the bravery of Amin al-Mu'mini Ali ibn Abi Talib alayhi salam like no other. Find me any other one brave, brave like Amin al-Mu'mini within the battlefield. Always in the front. So we get the teachings from Ali ibn Abi Talib. Where Rasulullah says numerous times, and Shia and non-Shia have brought this hadith, Ali is with the truth, and truth is with Ali. Where else? So this one truth is with Ali ibn Abi Talib and no one else. We cannot say, well, 
Amir al-Mu'mineen has a path. Amir al-Mu'mineen guides us to Rasulullah. Other people will also guide us to Rasulullah. It's not possible. Truth, al-haqq ma'ali wa al-ali wa aliyun ma'al haqq. The truth is with Amir al-Mu'mineen, <coughs> commander of the faithful, and vice versa. Haqq al-haqq ma'ali, aliyun ma'al haqq wa al-haqq ma'ali. The truth. So the one path. That one straight Sarat al-Mustaqeem is according to Ahl Bayt alayhi wa an Abi Abdullah fi Tafsir al-Ayyashi, the Tafsir al-Ayyashi, volume 1, page 24, where Imam al-Sadiq alayhi salam narrates, Ihdina Sarat al-Mustaqeem, Ya'ni Amir al-Mu'mineen, Ali ibn Abi Talib alayhi salam. Sarat al-Mustaqeem is the path of Amir al-Mu'mineen. We have another narration from Rasulullah, where Rasulullah tells his companions, if you see the whole world go one, one path, and you see Amir al-Mu'mineen Ali ibn Abi Talib alayhi salam, he's by himself alone on one path, follow Ali ibn Abi Talib alayhi salam. And we see again, these narrations are not only Shia narrations, both Shia and non-Shia, they have narrated. Another hadith by Imam al-Sadi alayhi salam where he says, Wallah, he swears to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, نَحْنُ الصَّرَاطُ الْمُسْتَقِيمُ We are the right path. It is very important where we are getting our teachings. When we see, it's not about the majority. Well, majority of the Muslims are non-Shia, be it. Well, majority of the people are not Muslim. According to some statistics, Christians are the first. So, if we are going with majority, well, Sheikh, how can it be that after Rasulullah, where majority of the people wrong, will find a place within the Holy Quran that Allah praises the majority, rather always condemns majority. أَكْثَرُهُمْ لَا يَعْقِلُونَ أَكْثَرُهُمْ لَا يَتَفَكِرُونَ Majority of people don't use intellect. Majority of the people, they don't think. Majority, majority is always being condemned within the Holy Quran. So it's not about the majority. And again, within this narration just, that we just mentioned, Rasulullah tells his companions, if you see all the people going one path, again, majority, all the people, Amir al Mumini Ali ibn Abi Talib is on one path, follow that path. Where Imam Amir al Mumini Ali ibn Abi Talib السلام, says, بِنَا اِحْتَدَيْتُمْ فِي الظَّلْمَاءِ by us, you are finding the right path. You are guided during the time of darkness. So we will conclude. We will put together all of this. We will, inshallah, try to. There are many other narrations. Actually, there's one more narration that I would like to read for you. It's beautiful. These narrations are so difficult for me to bring one verse. And you saw, took three episodes from us. And we still, I had to eliminate many concepts, many narrations, because we try to, as much as possible, to be short, sweet, and simple. And it's Sadiq alayhi salam, this is in the Tafsir al Safi. Talking about Ihdan al Sarat al Mustaqeem, Imam says, Wahiyat tariqu ila ma'rifat Allah. Sarat al Mustaqeem is the path to know Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Good. Wahuma saratan, it is two paths. Sheikh, you said one path. No, pay, pay attention. Be with me. وَهُمَا سَرَاطَان سَرَاطٌ فِي الدُّنْيَا وَسَرَاطٌ فِي الْآخِرَةِ This path, it's one path in this world and one path in hereafter, which are connected. فَأَمَّا السَّرَاطَ الَّذِي فِي الدُّنْيَا The sarat, the path that is in this world. فَهُوَ الْإِمَامُ الْمُفْتَرَضُ الطَّاعَةِ It's the imam that we must obey him. We have again narration where Rasulullah says, anyone who dies and doesn't, and doesn't know the Imam of his time, man mata wa lam ya'rif imam zamanih mata mitatan jahiliyya, the one who dies and doesn't know the Imam of his time has died a death of ignorance. Imam says, it is wajib upon you ila ma'rifati al-imam al-muftarad al-ta'a. We have to know this Imam. The path which is in this world is the Imam which we must know him and obey him. Man arafahu fi dunya waqtada bi huda. The one who gets to know the Imam of his time. And he follows him. Waqtada bi him. He kept him as a qa'id, as a leader. O oh, Imam, you go and we follow you. Marr ala sarat al ladhi huwa jisru jahannam fil akhir. So Imam says, Sarat al mustaqim. One sarat in this world, one sarat in hereafter, which they are connected. Basically, they are together connected. The one that is in this world, for you to know the Imam of your time and to follow him, if you get to know the Imam of your time and you get to follow him in this world, you will be able to cross that bridge that is on the day of Qiyamah, which is on top of the hellfire. If we cross the bridge, inshallah, we get to the heaven, inshallah. 
the one who doesn't know the Imam of his time. في الدنيا زلت قدمه عن الصلاة في الآخرة. The one that doesn't know the Imam of his time and he doesn't follow the Imam of his time, he his legs and his feet will shake on that bridge in the day of judgment and he will fall in the hellfire. How important it is, even us, Shia, that inshallah we're following. The path of Ahl Bayt salam, how important it is for us to know the Imam of our time, Imam Mahdi Ajrullah Ta'ala Faraj Sharif. I have given lecture, you can refer to Sheikh Mustafa Akhun. I have given 30 nights lecture Ramadan this past Ramadan about the importance and about knowing the Imam of our time, Imam Mahdi. May Allah hasten his reappearance. Please do go and visit them and watch it. It's 30 nights we have dedicated our lecture to Imam Mahdi Ajrullah Ta'ala Faraj Sharif. Why? Because we want, we say, Sirat al Mustaqim. So we want to be on the right path. The right path, according to Imam Sada alayhi salam, it's about us following the Imam of our time. In order for us to follow the Imam of our time, we have to know him. And we have to know his status for us to know to follow him. So it is very important. وعنه عن الصادق عليه السلام in another hadith when he says إن الصراط أمير المؤمنين the الصراط is أمير المؤمنين وزاده في رواية أخرى Imam also said ومعرفته and also knowing the Imam is the الصراط المستقيم. So that becomes a good action plan. Let us get to know the Imam of our time and let us get to know what he wants from us to do. Insha'Allah. And one of the things that he has said to do. And he wants from us to do more and more and more. That is for us to pray for his for hastening his reappearance. Insha'Allah. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Allahumma kun li wadiyka al-hujjat ibn al-Hasan. Salawatuk alayhi wa ala abaih. Fi hadhi sa'ata wa fi kulli sa'a. Waliyan wa hafiza wa qa'idan wa nasira wa dalilan wa ayna. Hatta tuskin wa ardaka ta'a. Wa tumatta'ahu fiha tawila. Barahmatika ya arhamar rahameen.